I am uh, Chairman Emeritus of the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. That's the CME group. And uh, I'm still on the board and doing, uh, helping with strategy for the CME. Uh, I am known as the founder of Financial Futures um, back in 1972 when I thought of the idea of launching future markets in financial instruments. Prior to that, uh, future markets were mostly and only agriculture. And the idea to launch them in finance turned out to be uh, quite good. And uh, today, uh, financial futures represent 81% of futures markets. And all of that has grown exponentially. So the idea was a good one. Clearly, I was delighted to be able to speak here on uh, the growth and success of the idea of financial futures, which in our lifetime happened. The people think that financial futures or the futures markets that are so prominent today have been in existence for hundreds of years, maybe centuries, but it isn't true. Uh, it began in our lifetime. It began in 1972 and uh, has been a phenomenal success because it provides uh, the world with perhaps the uh, best instrument at uh, uh, measure measuring as well as transferring risks that are uh, prominent in the world that, they, that everybody lives in. There are always business risks. And to manage those business risks I is the trick. Uh, those people that can manage it well succeed in business. Those that can't do not. And financial futures are an instrument of, uh, of finance that allow in an efficient way to transfer and regulate the risks involved and sometimes transfer it to people who are willing to take the risk that you want to shed. The businessman may not want to uh, have the risk of currency change, but uh, you or some other person might say, hey, this is a, this is a gamble I want to take. And so it requires the speculator, it requires the commercial to hedge uh, his risk and pass it on to the speculator. Th that is a you know, very basic idea of how this works. And it works extremely well. So these markets have developed starting with currency futures back in 1972, and then into interest rate futures and stock index futures. And today, there are financial future markets everywhere, literally everywhere. Uh, in in uh, whether it's Kuala Lumpur, whether it's Beijing, whether it's uh, Frankfurt or London, um, they all have financial future markets. So uh, that wouldn't have happened if the idea wasn't good. It only happens, as Merton Miller said to me, the best test of any idea is how many people use it. And this obviously is used by millions of people, millions of business uh, people, and uh, successfully so. Um, is it perfect? No, absolutely not. But I've not run into anything that is perfect. Maybe uh, Elizabeth Taylor when she was 18, but that's about it. <laughs> so uh, you, uh, you, you accept uh, that overall uh, financial futures and the futures market serve an enormous uh, purpose and are a benefit to society because if if a businessman can shed his risk onto someone that's willing to take that, that means the businessman has more capital uh, to use to build another factory or another bridge or another street and increase employment as a consequence and better the living standard of the people. And that's exactly what happens in this process. Living standards rise and employment uh, rise and the businessman can continue to um, build and expand and succeed.